The days had stretched on, and though Amy had kept her distance from Goldenheart, she could feel the unspoken bond between them. He didn't push, didn't pry into her life, but his presence lingered, quietly patient. Amy had heard more and more from the villagers about the small things he had done to help, the kindness he showed even to those who didn't ask for it. She watched from afar, torn between her guarded heart and the growing curiosity about this mysterious hedgehog. One afternoon, Amy decided to take a walk through the village market, hoping the fresh air might clear her mind. She hadn't planned to run into Goldenheart, at least not intentionally, but as fate would have it, she spotted him across the way talking with a vendor. She paused, half hidden by a fruit stand, observing him as he laughed gently with the old merchant. His laughter, it was something she had noticed before. It wasn't loud or boisterous, but soft, warm, like he genuinely cared about those around him. Amy sighed, adjusting her scarf and trying to shake the conflicted feelings that had been gnawing at her for days. She wasn't ready to face him again, not after everything. But then, as she turned to leave, their eyes met. Goldenheart's smile widened when he saw her, his golden eyes lighting up with a kindness she still didn't fully understand. Before she could duck away, he was already walking toward her, a small but friendly wave in her direction. Hey, Amy, he said casually, as if they hadn't been avoiding each other for days. How have you been? I'm fine, she replied quickly, stuffing her hands into her pockets. She glanced away, unsure of what to say next. Her instinct was to walk away, but something held her there. Golden Heart noticed her hesitation, but didn't comment on it. Instead, he looked around the busy market, trying to find a way to ease the tension. His eyes landed on a nearby stand selling various trinkets, and a mischievous grin crossed his face. You ever see something so random you just have to stop and laugh? He asked, pointing to a particularly odd-looking item on the table, a wooden statue of what appeared to be a hedgehog riding a turtle. Amy glanced at it, confused at first, but then she caught the ridiculousness of it. She snorted before she could stop herself. What even is that? She asked, the corner of her mouth twitching up despite her best efforts to stay serious. Goldenheart chuckled, stepping closer to the stand. I have no idea, but someone clearly thought this was a good idea, he said, picking up the statue and examining it with an exaggeratedly serious expression. It's like the hero we didn't know we needed. Hedgehog on a turtle, slow and steady wins the race, right? Amy tried to stifle her laughter, but it was no use. The absurdity of it, combined with Golden Heart's playful tone, broke through the wall she had built around herself. She covered her mouth, but the giggles escaped, and for the first time in what felt like forever, she let herself laugh freely. Golden Heart looked at her with a smile, his expression softening at the sound of her laughter. It was as if the heaviness between them lifted, even if just for a moment. He put the statue back on the table, shaking his head in amusement. I guess someone around here has a strange sense of art. Amy wiped a tear from the corner of her eye, still giggling. You think? She managed to say between breaths. I don't know why, but that's... that's just so ridiculous. Sometimes you need a bit of ridiculousness in your day. Golden Heart replied, his tone lighter than usual. He seemed genuinely happy to see her laugh, as if this small, silly moment was a victory of its own. For a while they stood there, the tension between them slowly dissipating. Amy found herself relaxing in his presence, the guarded feeling she usually had around him fading, even if just a little. She wasn't sure why, but for the first time in a long while she felt normal. No pressure to explain herself or her past, 
No need to keep her walls up. Just two hedgehogs laughing at something absurd. As the laughter died down, Amy glanced at Golden Heart, catching his eyes before quickly looking away. The vulnerability of the moment hadn't escaped her. She wasn't ready to fully open up. Not yet. But maybe, just maybe, she didn't need to keep pushing him away either. I'm, uh, I'm glad we ran into each other. Amy said softly, her voice a bit awkward as she tried to navigate this unfamiliar territory. I mean, I guess it's nice to laugh like that sometimes. Goldenheart's smile softened. I'm glad too, Amy. I think we both needed it. Amy nodded, feeling the warmth of his words settle in her chest. She didn't know what to say next, and the moment felt fragile, like it could break if she said too much. So instead of trying to force a conversation, she simply stood there, letting the quiet comfort of the moment linger. I should get going, she finally said, shifting her weight. I have some things I need to take care of. Golden Heart didn't push her to stay. He simply nodded, his gaze still warm and understanding. Of course, take care, Amy. She turned to leave, but before she walked away, she looked back at him one more time. Thanks, she said, her voice sincere. For making me laugh. Golden Heart gave her a gentle nod. Anytime. As Amy walked away, the smile on her face faded, but the warmth in her chest remained. She wasn't ready to open up completely, but something about Golden Heart made her feel a little less alone, a little more willing to let her guard down. And maybe, just maybe, she was starting to see that he wasn't like the others. He wasn't here to push or demand anything from her. He was simply there, waiting, ready when she was. But for now, that small shared moment of laughter was enough.